Uh, all right, Jahan Dotson, and then we got two running backs, and I'll get you out of here after this marathon. Uh, like, what are my thoughts on Jahan like, Dotson? Where, where Alec Pierce, I guess, seems like a decent. Oh no, I mean, for... I've, I've got Olave and Jahan Dotson above. Okay, they're they're. Uh, I've got them Dotson rated as Christian Watson as well. Okay, um, I mean, I'm not there. Uh, I I like Dotson, I, but I don't look at him as like I look at Watson if he hits the upper range of his outcomes. I think he can be like, yeah. you know, wide receiver one in an offense. That's I fair. don't necessarily look at Jahan Dotson in that type of. Now, the interesting thing about him and Chris Olave, I think that Jahan Dotson is a really good value in rookie drafts right now because a lot of people For are sure. looking at the commanders. They're the letting shit about slip. draft capital with Dotson. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> and people are like, oh, but it's Carson freaking Wentz. And so I look at Olave and Dotson as they could be number ones in their offense next year, whether they're they're good enough to sustain that type of um, they could be like Darnell Moody's in the sense of they're right. de facto number ones in their offense. As soon as next year, like if the Saints move on from Michael Thomas, then you have Chris Olave leading the leading the pack. If the Washington Commanders don't want to give the bag to Terry McLaurin, then you could have John Dotson as the number one wide receiver next yeah, year. I mean, so, they could be out on Curtis Samuel too. They got an out uh, oh man, coming. yeah, Curtis Samuel. It's so, sad, I mean, but I, I don't know if he's ever going to be a productive NFL player right. again. He's, but he's always so banged up. You know, Terry, when he while he does play a decent amount, has been banged up throughout the season. Yep. Every week, it's is he going to play or not? Curtis hasn't played. Diami Brown, who knows? So it's like there isn't there. It, there could be you know just like we talked yep. about in a half a year or you know throughout the year that this the landscape and situation could change so fast for people being so in on Dotson because he's he's the de facto number one like you kind of just well and I like Dotson too in the sense that I think that there was a lot of yards left on the field because his quarterback play at Penn State was so fucking drains he was Penn State can't find a quarterback dude I I posted clips out on Twitter uh, about Clifford and it was as and it's it's it was hysterically funny like I got to the point where I'm watching game film for Dotson and I'm like He's a shit. Like he's dusting a corner and the quarterback airmails his ass. Yeah. Like he throws it five feet over his head. There's one deep pattern. And I'm blanking on the team they were playing at the time where he dusts the dude on a freaking post pattern. And he like all the guy had to do was hit him like <laughs> hit him in stride. And he's going to the house for a touchdown. There's nobody behind him. And Clifford's ass throws it. 10 yards the other direction. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. give the guy a chance. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. If you like, do give him a chance, it's fucking Yeah, awesome. he's a good wide receiver. And honestly, I think his profile, if he would have had, and, and a lot of these guys play with bad quarterbacks in college. Like, that does happen. Like, quarterback play is not great across college. You know, sure. like, like, you can go back and watch Rashad Bateman's uh, tape through multiple years and we could sit here and easily talk about the fact that Tanner fucking Morgan will never be an NFL quarterback. <laughs> um, and it's the same thing with Jahan Dotson. Like what would his profile looked like if he would have not had um, a decent quarterback? You know, if he would have had a decent quarterback playing with him, could his profile have looked even better? So I'm not out on Jahan Dotson. Like if he falls in a rookie draft, I will happily take him. Um, and, and like I talked about, there's an upside scenario, too, where he could be the wide receiver one for the commanders as soon as next year. Yeah, or shit, halfway through the year. I mean, 